So you want to get a mini map in Minecraft 1.18.2. Well, in this video, we're going to show you how to get the best mini map for Minecraft 1.18.2. Journey map. Journey map not only adds in a mini map, but also a full screen map that you can check out and use to be able to easily see your entire world in game. You can also set waypoints and overall do so much stuff with a journey map. It is my personal favorite mini map, and that's one of the reasons we're installing it today. First and most, though, we have Miss Mars sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love it to just Apex so much that we lost our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So start your very own server at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Nevertheless, go to the second link down below. In the description and when you do you'll find this you'll find the link to our text tutorial to get journey map now in this video we're gonna go over everything in the text tutorial but if you do want to go through it kind of at your own pace you can do so with this tutorial however once you're here you want to go ahead and click on the yellow download journey map button it will take you to journey maps official download page where you want to come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until you find the minecraft 1.18 section under that you have journey map 1.18.2 and click on the orange download button to the right of it for the download to start after a few seconds. Now once this download does start, you may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. It's going to be in the bottom left of Google Chrome. You might need to keep it or save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. However, we aren't done downloading just yet. We still need to download Forge. Forge is the mod loader that actually allows us to install Journey Map into Minecraft. So as you can see here, the third link in the description down below is this. This is our in-depth guide on Forge. We have a 1.18.2 Forge tutorial up here, as well as our text tutorial down here. Now, we're going to go through the basics of getting Forge in this video, but if you do have issues, this article and video will help you out. Now, let's just go ahead and click on the green Download Forge button to go to Forge's official download page. We do want to make sure MC 1.18.2 is selected, which, as we can see on the left-hand side, it is. Once we've got MC 1.18.2 here, come under Download Latest and click on the Installer button. After a few seconds, we'll be taken off to Add Focus, where you don't want to click anything on this page at all. So stop, don't click a single thing on this page whatsoever, right? Don't click a single thing. Just wait about five to 10 seconds, and then at the top right, you'll have a red skip button. Click on that, and then in the bottom left, Forge will begin downloading. You may need to keep or save the file again in the bottom left of Google Chrome or in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and we need to get the files we downloaded, Forge and Journey Map, to our desktop. To do that, click the little Windows icon, which is in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen or in the bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. So type in Downloads right like so. Open your downloads folder, and then in here you will find Forge and Journey Map. Drag and drop these to your desktop for ease of use. Nevertheless, once Forge and Journey Map are on your desktop, we can go ahead and start off with Forge. Now, if your icons don't look like mine, just keep watching. We're going to solve that. But first, no matter what, let's see if we can open up Forge. So right click on it, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. However, if you didn't have Java there, or if your icons don't look correctly, basically if anything other than this right here opened up, you need to do two things. First off, you need to download and install Java 17. This is required for Minecraft mods, and Journey Map is a Minecraft mod, so you need Java 17 for it to work. For most of you, this will then allow you to open up the mod system installer for Forge, which is what we just opened up, the Forge file, and you'll be good to go. However, for some of you as well, you may need to run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work together. And that's important because it's going to fix things like those icons. If your icons are at WinRAR or anything else, it's going to fix those. On top of that, it's also going to allow you to open up Forge no matter what. However, you need to download Java first. So step one, download Java, then run the jar fix. The jar fix won't work correctly without Java. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and right click on Forge again, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That opens the mod system installer for Forge, where all we want to do is click on Install Client and click OK. So I'm going to download, install, set up, do everything it needs to do to get Forge installed for Minecraft 1.18. Dot two. As you can see, it's doing stuff. The only reason this won't work is if, for whatever reason, you've not played Minecraft 1.18.2 without any mods or anything like that. Just go play vanilla Minecraft 1.18.2 open it up to the main menu and close out of it. Additionally, you want to make sure that Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are both closed when doing this. If they were open, no worries. Just close out of them, come back, and this will work. Now, let's just go ahead and click OK here, close out of that. We can then delete Forge from our desktop, and now the hard part's over. We just need to install Journey Map. To do that, let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here, and when we do so, we need to make sure that we're selecting the Forge profile. Now, for some people, this will be automatically selected. It's probably going to be automatically selected for me, if I'm honest. 
it is. As you can see, Forge is selected to the left of the play button here. And most importantly under that, it says 1.18.2-Forge. If that's the case for you, click play and click play again. If it's not though, click this little arrow and then select Forge from this list. As you can see, right there it is. Select it, click play, and click play again. However, if you still don't have Forge or it's not the right version, click on installations up at the top. If modded isn't checked, as you can see, Forge disappears, right? If it is checked, Forge reappears. So let's go ahead, if that's the case, click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Forge or it doesn't say 1.18.2-Forge under it, click on new installation. Then you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our incredible 1.18 grief protected survival server. It's got Skyblock, it's got survival. You will absolutely love it, so come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Nevertheless, though, let's go ahead and click in the version drop down box here. And then we want to select 1.18.2 Forge. Right here it is for me. You may have to scroll down away to find yours, but mine's right here at the top. So we get that selected, and that's the most important part. At this point, you can go ahead and click create. But I'm going to change the resolution just so we can see once we get in game. Now we can click create in the bottom right and we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile that most importantly has 1.18.2 forge under it. Hover over this, click the green play button, and click play again. And now Minecraft is going to open up with Forge. It may take a second or two for it to do that, and that's perfectly normal if that's the case, but it's just a waiting game at this point. One thing I also want to mention is that if you have anything like a white screen or Minecraft turns like a white when you're opening it up, that's perfectly normal as well and not something to worry about. Just sit and wait for a few seconds. It'll work. So here we are in the Minecraft main menu, and as you can see, Forge is installed in the bottom left here. We've also got this Mods button. Let's go ahead and click on that Mods button. And when we do that, we want to then click Open Mods folder in the bottom left. That's going to open up our Mods folder right like so, where we want to take Journey Map and drag and drop it into this Mods folder. It's that simple to get a mini map in Minecraft, but if we come back here, it's not here, and it's not going to be here until we click Done and then quit the game. We then want to open up the Minecraft Launcher again, and again, we want to make sure that our Forge profile is selected. This time, though, we don't have to create one or anything like that. We've already got a Forge profile set up. As you can see, right there it is with 1.18.2-Forge under it. Go ahead and click Play, click Play again, and now Minecraft is going to open up with journey map and mini map because journey map is a mini map installed in minecraft now we can check the mods tab again and there is journey map looking good we can also jump in game and uh check out this mini map in game because uh it's always cool to do that i'll also show you how you can pull up the full screen map which is my favorite part of journey map like sure the mini map is cool and you can see it in the top right up there there is the mini map but if we press j we'll be able to see all the stuff that's new but what we can actually do is go into our options here click close, click close, and here we are. This is the full screen minimap. As you move around the world, this will fill out and you can zoom in and see different stuff around the world. It's, it's honestly so amazing. I absolutely love it. You can also come in here and set waypoints. So we want to set a waypoint here. We can do so. This is like a, I think a um, evergreen forest is what we'll call it. Evergreen forest. And I don't like that color as much. We'll make it a little more of a pale green. Save, close, and then now that shows up on the big map as well as in game, right? So boom, there it is evergreen forest so simple and so easy to use and again just an amazing amazing mod if we go into j as well we can click on options and if you do want to change your minimap settings you can do so here for example you can zoom things in and all of that which i know is something a lot of people like to do they like to zoom in minimaps you can also make it huge if you want like i mean look at this we could we could basically i think take up yeah the entire screen with minimap this is efficient, I promise. <laughs> Nevertheless, that is how, though, you can add a mini-map to Minecraft, specifically Journey Map, which is the most powerful mini-map in Minecraft, in my opinion. I absolutely love it. It's got waypoints, it's got this full-screen map, and it's got very, very customizable options, which is, I think, one of the coolest things about a mini-map. Nevertheless, though, hope you enjoyed. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.